All right, boys, we have ourselves a gameplay on the brand new Michael Thomas LTD. I was going to do an Austin Eckler gameplay, but he is not out today. He's coming out next Tuesday, I believe. So Mike T LTD he actually looks like a really good card, and I'm actually excited to use him as an Ohio State fan myself. Let's get right into it. Before we start today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, MuttPacks.com. You can click the link down below and open exciting packs, win tons of coins, and withdraw your account right away. You could use promo code CHU for 15% off. Lastly, when you sign up down below, you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well. All right, boys, so looking at Mike T, you guys can see 95 speed. This actually might be the, mess, the best Michael Thomas card we've ever seen in Madden. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. I've been playing ever since he's been great in the league, and this is probably the best Mike T card we have seen yet. 95 speed is insane, especially when they usually give him, like, normally for a 96, they'd probably give him, like, a 92 or 93 speed right there. He has amazing catching stats, all 95 plus. And then with the route tree strat card, it's a purple strat card. He gets 99 shore out running, 95 medium, and a 96 deep. He is six foot three, so good enough uh, height where you could probably successfully ag with him. And then his abilities are okay. I do love zero AP short out out elite but for today's video i'm going to be using him in the slot so i won't have him outside of the numbers so this ability won't make too much sense for me but short out's really good right now in the game so we're just going to be using that 2 ap route tech and then in the last slot you can get wide receiver apprentice for one but we're going to be using deep out elite so for three ap this is the combo we're using kind of uh the madden 22 kind of uh combo you can go right there you could go short in elite as well i know route tech has been a little bit kind of inconsistent this year but i think we're just going to use route tech today with the deep out and then obviously the double me but i'm excited to take mike t in here this is the best kind of mike t card i've ever seen in my life on ultimate team I'm excited to use him out let's get it all right, boys, looks like Mike T will be in our top three. I was hoping so. We have a purple strat card on him, and he's a 96. Looks like we're playing an okay team. Not the best team in the world. He is using short and elite and route tech on Steve Smith. So that guy, we aren't running man coverage, so not going to do much there. But we are getting the ball first with him. I'm excited, man. All right, boys, I do have the custom Bengals on. I'm actually going to have to snap this right away. If you guys want to know how to get the customs, I know a lot of people always ask me. Uh-oh, this is kind of not the best... I just got to call a timeout there. That is my fault. Why did I not call a timeout with no time left and I just chuck it up? Now we're in a tough spot, but like I said, if you guys want to know how to get the custom Bengals jerseys or any custom jersey in the game, let me know in the comments and I'll just I'll just probably comment to you. It might take me a little bit, but yeah, that was not the best start to a game ever, boys. I mean, that was just me being a bot. Just call a timeout. We're good. It looks like we're playing a Ravens theme team, though. That's why he has RG3 in the game, and it looks like JK Dobbins going down pretty easy there. Do know they have that 400 pound running back right there and I that card's actually not bad for being such a low overall because obviously he's just going to fall forward anyways no matter the what overall you put on him but in a Raven same team he might be a little you know he might be okay but it looks like we're getting a Chase Young got an instant shed right there that was a beautiful play we might be getting the ball back fast immediately it looks like he's in the Ravens playbook too I mean I gotta respect him man the theme teams are tough I'll probably end up building the Browns one soon might not do a video on it but I might use it on stream for just some fun but see what he's got here and it looks like another sack on a three-man rush i did not or four-man rush i did not really blitz much there but we got home all right boys so first play of the game he did run man coverage i was just i quick snapped it because i had no time on the clock and i just that was a pretty bad play by me let's see if we get a nice little play to the left it actually looks like he's running zone and mike t saving me i'm playing awful right now on offense let me calm down a little bit here i don't even know what he just ran that might be the craziest play art of all time so is he really about to use her michael thomas the entire game right there in the slot looks like he got clicked off and wow he is sending some heat at us that was a four-man rush too and i blocked my running back all right this guy might have found the craziest glitch blitz of all time i don't know that was pretty nuts right there but it looks like we're gonna have a wide open michael thomas through the seam he is lighting up on all of these as well with that deep out elite you love to see that he's definitely sending the heat you guys can see look how many people he has on the line of scrimmage right here let's see if we get a nice little corner to the right and it looks like man coverage yeah kyle hamilton a safety and man coverage against mike t yeah, that one's just not going to help you at all. We're going to be toxic on into the end zone, man. Let's get it, baby. I feel like I've been super, super, like, hesitant to go on two-point conversions in the, in, the, in the past. But now that I have goal line back, I always go for it. I feel like it's not, like, it's almost like a 90% chance you score right there. If they don't come out in, like, a huge run defense. I mean, that's the easiest two-point conversion of my life right there. Just because of a one ability that's free. All right, boys. I feel like he's going to start running the ball a little bit here. So we're going to pinch in. We're not blitzing, really. We're only sending four against this guy, and we're not going to get through it all. But we might get a coverage sack right here. That was great defense from the boys. 
And yeah, he threw that. Wow, I don't know what he's doing there. I know I always come out in technically BB Fire 2, but if you've watched a lot of our like videos, you know I don't blitz all the time. I always just come out in it and adjust. That was a four-man rush right there, and we get a sack. That was beautiful right there. Chase Young has got two and a half sacks right now. And, a, and look, like I said, it looks like I call this all the time, but I always come out in it. And look, I'll get to the strong side of the receiver. I'll do something like that, and that's what it usually looks like for me there. And I'm going to drop this guy a little bit farther back as well. And Chase Young is just having himself a day. I don't... Three and a half sacks on four-man rushes. This is nuts. And it looks like he's going to be on out of there. That might have been the Chase Young gameplay. All right, boys. I ended up actually getting into another house room right here. I don't want to keep going on my competitive pass, if that makes sense, because the, the new season pass doesn't come out until Thursday. And I don't want to ruin my XP from the competitive pass. So I'm actually in house rules. I think this is a good way to, like, kind of play the game and not burn and waste XP. So this is a good way to do it. And we still get to use Mike T in man coverage against Route Tech right there. I mean, look at that, boys. That's Cromarty, though, too. One of the best cards, if not the best man corner in the game, getting absolutely put on a burner by our Mike T right there. So I'm not the biggest fan of uh, house rules, but the college overtime is actually kind of a W. I know it's a little bit harder to score down here, but college overtime is the one I can actually accept. The house rules that come with, like, the X-Factors already kind of turned on. Those are always the absolute worst in the game. But it looks like this guy's going to be running man again. And there goes that KO right there. Cromarty got the better of him. I don't know if he's like trolling, but he went over to goal line. I was actually gonna. Okay, I don't want to talk about it. That was terrible. But why would he go to goal line there? I was actually gonna run the ball there. And it's like he knew I was gonna. That was like the most weird play from my opponent I could have ever seen in my life. But hey, Mike T bailed us out, man. We'll take it, baby. I don't understand this. Like, why are you in goal? Maybe it's because he knows I have goal line back, but I don't know. I'm gonna run it anyways. I think we're just still gonna get it in. We didn't get it in. All right, well, that sucks. So if he scores, he's going to kick the field goal. Come on. All right, boys, in a near defensive list Madden, I feel like there's no chance in me stopping him, especially when he only has a field goal to score here. So, yeah, kind of tough. I feel like this one's an L, but we could still clutch up. You never know in a game of Madden. Let's see. It looks like a little dumpy boy right there running ghost routes. You know, I feel like no one ever runs ghost route out the backfield. Hey, right, boys, here we go. He's took forever to call this snap right now. Let's see what he's got. And he, he was throwing that ball no matter what, man. Oh, that's my fault as a user. That, that was his only read right there, no matter what. Like, this is where it's, like, hard in house rules. It's like you almost score almost every time because you know you don't really get to... In a real Madden game, you get, like, tendencies in how your opponent plays. So you kind of, like, start to pick up how they are playing. And you can't really do that in a game where they only need 25 yards. You know what I mean? Boys, second and goal. What does he got for us right here? And it looks like... Just a high ball right away, and Woodson lost off the line, and obviously he's going to kick his field goal. Let's get into another one. Boys, so we have ourselves another house rules game right here. I've been just kind of grinding these out. I've actually been just quitting until I got the ball first, and it took me around like five games. I don't know why I wasted that much time. I probably should have just played defense first, but let's see. It looks like Mike T was kind of bagged there. Yeah, I don't know how much we have, how we have that much time. We're going to take a flag. Oh, I should have ran a little bit more. I definitely would have got out the pocket. Boys, let's see if we can get going right here. We're looking for anything. Oh, he's actually running. Man, and look at Mike T holding on to it, too. That's why D-Bot Elite is so good. That's not a good man defensive play at all. And it worked. It worked right there, boys. And we held on to it with the guy on our back. D-Bot Elite, that's where it's amazing, but it's kind of hard to fit it in. Usually, a lot of people don't get it for 1 AP. So, him getting it for 1 AP is an absolute huge W. But it looks like we actually might have a corner out over here. I went back and agged it so the guy behind me wouldn't hit me with the KO. And Mike T gets a perfect animation and we fall for the touchdown. All right, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which, what, which team of the week are you adding. I know there's three new wide receivers. Mike T, Tim Brown, and also T.Y. Hill. And we're going to be doing a top 10 tomorrow, by the way, because I know there's a lot of new cards. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.